Hi there, so you want to uh, st uh, get us started uh, coding with App Inventor. So uh, this is going to be a series of videos uh, called Getting Started with App Inventor Open Source Development. And it's just a series of very rough and ready videos. I'm not going to do any editing. You're going to see me doing a lot of stuff uh, wrong. And, uh, and that is fine. That is how things happen. In real life anyway so uh, the first thing is uh, where to find stuff so this is the link for our main open source site uh, which I can show you here in the browser this is how it looks it doesn't look too pretty but it does have everything you need to get it started uh, if you want to view the, the source code, you can just uh, click here, be on GitHub. And here are the App Inventor sources. Here's all the code uh, to get it started. And uh, what you have here is a bunch of documents, all the documentation that you need. Uh, there's a developer overview, how to clone the sources from GitHub, um, how to develop with Git and GitHub and how to add a component and things like that. Uh, you can also find uh, help in the open source development group and there's just some information about contrib uh, contributing to the project and things like that. So that is the main site. The second um, URL here is actually the forum uh, which is a Google group, normal Google group and some of us hang out in this uh, room in IRC so if you connect to freenode.net no, free uh, App Inventor that is um, where some of us are at times uh, so to get started just uh, this is part zero which uh, it's a bunch of things that you need to know before you you start uh, this packed time of doing all the reading materials and stuff for this uh, part zero is about half an hour. The prerequisite is that you already know how uh, software development works. So you preferably Java, but you can learn Java through App Inventor and through the Android SDK. Although it's going to be a lot slower. But if you have about two years experience of you've been to college or you've taken some programming lessons, uh, you should be alright. And uh, if you uh, already know that, then these are the only two links that uh, we're going to uh, we're going to see today. So you have to be comf uh, comfortable with the command line. Uh, you can read this uh, ar uh, article for that, and you need to learn how to use GitHub. And GitHub and Code School School have a really good uh, interactive tutorial that I'm going to show you right now. So as I was saying, the first thing is Java. You need to know Java. So the Java tutorials are really good. They are free, available in Oracle's website. So if you need a refresher or if you need uh, to learn it, just go for it. Um, this is the article about the command line. Uh, command line primer for beginners and uh, here you can learn a bunch of things there's a section about Windows let me see yeah there you go so uh, this section about Windows uh, if some of you are using Windows explains how you can get past uh, the lack of a proper shell in Windows and this is the code school um, and github um, uh, course which is as you can see here 15 minutes want to learn git just go for it you actually have to type in stuff in here and it takes you to the to the um, next level so it's uh, it's really cool it's a it's a really nice um, here it is success it's a really nice uh, course and that is all for today uh part one will uh be ready soon bye bye